People who suffer catastrophic breaks to their long leg bones usually face uh, lots of surgeries and all too often the possibility of amputation. Now, scientists at the University of Arizona have been working for more than 20 years to improve the treatment protocol. In Health Watch, Shelly Botot reports they're using a patient's own fat and 3D printing to regrow long leg bones. Researchers are using stem cells and 3D printing, hoping to actually regrow broken long bones. Judith Burrell broke her leg when an ATV rolled on her a year ago. It was completely missing it. They didn't know, like, it was like it was a big chunk of my bone. And it was my tibia bone. Her doctors used her bone and marrow to fix the break, but Judith ended her plans to go into the military, believing her leg wouldn't support her in training. You can see the sensors that have been attached to the scaffold. Okay, now I'm going to look. University of Arizona researchers are developing a way to fix broken long bones with stem cells, a 3D printed scaffold, and a sensor to monitor exercise that helps bones heal. If we can fill our scaffold with these cells, the bone will start to form throughout the length of that scaffold. Stem cells are multiplied in a lab and run with calcium particles through the scaffold between the bone ends. A rod holds it in place for six to nine months. The bone grows in and around the scaffold. Lately we have been successful with removing all of the supporting hardware and showing that the bone that we're regrowing is actually functional tissue that does not need any additional orthopedic hardware in order to function. This work is funded by a $2 million grant from the Defense Department. We believe that using this type of an approach could regrow the bones for these soldiers and they would then be able to return to active military service. Researchers will report the recent success they've had with procedures on sheep to the FDA. If the agency accepts it, a phase one trial of fewer than 10 people could start soon. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 5 News.